Hey YouTube, I'm Roscoe and I'm a bald man. I've been shaving my head for the last 10 years with this Oster Classic 76. The Oster is one of the gold standards of hair trimmers. I like to keep my hair short so I have to shave it like twice a week with this and it takes 5 to 10 minutes each time. So I decided I wanted to try something new. So I decided to get one of these skull shavers that I always see ads for. So I went on Amazon and I found this one from AW. It was rated really highly so I decided to give it a try. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you if I liked my new skull shaver, and I will put a link for this down below in the description of the video if you like the way it turns out. I will also link my Oster 76ers. You can also purchase these on Amazon because I have been using these for like 10 years, and they're fantastic. The problem with using the hair clippers is it's messy, and since I only do it about twice a week, I end up getting the hair all over me, so I have to do it right before I shower. So I can't just hit it right before work on my way out the door. With the skull shaver, I'm hoping to, to change that and be able to do it every day and keep it real short. The downsides to the skull shavers like this is that you do have to do it every day or every other day at minimum in order to keep it short enough that the foils can cut the hair. I'm on about five days with the hair that I have right now, so I'm going to have to cut it with my normal clippers first and then I'm going to run over it with this shaver. After shaving with my normal clippers, this is how close it gets. I should state that this is with a 5-0. The AW shaver is sleek and it feels like it's made pretty well. It did come with lots of extra attachments, little scrubbers and a nose hair trimmer and sideburns trimmer. Most of this stuff I can't imagine that I would ever use. Uh, the sideburns trimmer might be nice for people though. If this is going to be your only shaver, then you may want that. And the little nose hair trimmer, I suppose if you don't have one of those, it's nice to have. One of the downsides to the skull shaver is going to be cleaning it out. You have to flip all of the blades open individually, and then that center one kind of twists and pops out of there, and it's a little bit tricky to do. I definitely can't do it one-handed while I'm holding the phone. All right, I'm going to do my first shave with my skull shaver. Sounds just like a normal face shaver. It does have a display where you can see the power left on the back. Here's what it looks like with the skull shaver. It is definitely closer than what I did before. All right, I've been using my new skull shaver from AW for two weeks now, and here's my final thoughts. I really like this thing. It has saved me so much time. Before I was spending five to 10 minutes once a week shaving my hair, sometimes twice a week with the clippers. With this, if I do the skull shaver every day, it only takes about 20 seconds. There was a couple times in this last two weeks that I missed a day. So the shaving process took more like 45 seconds because I had to hit it a little bit extra. But man, if I hit it every day, 20 seconds, super easy. I love it. If you keep your head shaved like me, then pick up one of these skull shavers from AW. You will not regret it. This thing is awesome. Hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here next time.